Hey everyone, this is question 125, Valid Palindrome, Valid Palindrome, and this is also taken from the neatcode.io list. This question is easy, rather straightforward, so let's just jump straight into the example. The question is saying, given this string S right here, a man, a plan, a canal, Panama, is it a palindrome or not? So the first thing we need to ask ourselves is what is a palindrome? And a palindrome is basically a word that can be read from left to right and from right to left, and it's still the same word. So examples could be Anna, right? It could be Bob. It's also race car is a classic one. You can see if I spelled it from the right side here to the left side, we have R, oops, R, A, C, E, C, A, R, race car. So the way we would think about how to determine if a word is a palindrome or not is to have two pointers. That's the way I would go about it. Um, so we would have a left pointer that goes there, and we would also have a right pointer that goes here. And then we would check whether or not the two characters at the ends are the same, and if they are, we will just increment our left pointer by one, and then we're also going to decrement our right pointer by one. And then we're gonna check, okay, these two characters, they are both A's. So let's continue to increment our left pointer and decrement our right pointer. Right now we're at the letter C. These two letters are the same and we are going to continue to decrement it. And at this point, L and R are going to actually be at the same place. They're going to be right at the same index, but our, with our, we're gonna use a while loop and we're still going to say, okay, that works. But as soon as the right pointer index is less than the left pointer index, once they pass each other, right, right becomes to the left side and left goes to the right side, then we can stop. If we can make it all the way through that, then we know it is a palindrome. So that's one. The other thing is, is if we take a look at this input S, right, we have to clean the string. We have to remove the spaces we have to remove the special characters. We have to make it into lowercase. So when you're thinking out loud, the first step is clean the string, remove unnecessary um, space and special characters. Then we have to make it lowercase. And that we can think of as going to be string dot to lowercase. That is a native method in JavaScript. Then we can just pass that into our palindrome checker, our check and check if it's a palindrome. So with these three steps, let's go ahead and write the function to check if it's a palindrome first. So I'll just say check, it takes in a string, and we're going to create our left pointer, which starts at zero, our right pointer that starts at um, the length minus one. Now we're going to say while the left is less than or equal to the right, right? While it's equal, we're still going to do the check one more time until it's not, right? So while, right here, line 23, while this condition is true, if our string, that left index, is the same character as the right, then all we're going to do is increment that left and decrement that right pointer, right? Otherwise, if they aren't the same, we just return false. Return it right away. And then, Right? If we can make it through that loop, we're going to return true. It is a palindrome. Now we've done that. Now how do we clean the string? Well, there is a method called uh, replace. So let's go ahead and just say clean, and we're just going to call it s.replace. So replace works with strings. It just replaces a, a character or a regular expression um, pattern and we're going to use regex for this question. Now replace takes in two arguments, right? It takes in the regex pattern and it takes in what we want to replace that regex pattern with. Now that regex pattern is going to look like this. Well, we are going to first, actually, yeah, there we go. We want to negate all of the characters here that are not a regular character. So basically, a space, a comma. So how can we capture the space, the comma? Instead of saying, let's capture the space, let's capture the comma, we can actually just say, 
let's capture everything that isn't um, a regular character, right? So it, that isn't A, B, C, A, to A through Z, uppercase and lowercase. So this little caret here represents the negation. Negate everything that is not, that is <coughs> lowercase A to Z, uppercase A to Z, and we need one more because if we just did this, it would probably only capture this first one, the first instance. What we need to do is add a G flag. And what that tells us is that globally in the string, capture everything, right? So now that we have the clean, we can actually go ahead and console log it and see what it gives us. So if I just hit run, let's see if it removes all the spaces. That's gonna be the wrong answer. Um, look at that. Our printout is basically um, the, this version, but with the cases still in. So let's go ahead and say to lower case right there. Right now, it's going to give us a lower cased version. Right? Look at that. Now we have it. And finally, what do we do? We want to put that into our palindrome check. Right? So let's say check clean and let's just return this. And this will just return true or false. And from the example here, we know it's going to return true. It is a palindrome. Let's go ahead and run it. We have the output is, oh, the output is false. Why is that? Let's go ahead and see. Oh, I made that mistake, line 24. Let's go ahead and do that again. True and true. Let's go ahead and submit it. What are we getting? Zero P. All right, so now we need to know, okay, what if there are digits involved, right? So that was an edge case that we did not contemplate. If I went down, okay, it doesn't say. Okay, so we've only captured zero and we've only captured letters. How do we do numbers as well? Well, conveniently, we can also just do zero to nine. All the numbers from zero to nine, let's ignore that. So let's go ahead and submit it again. All right, there we go. We are beating 41% of it, and that's how you would do this question. Let's take a look at the recap. We have our check, which tells us whether or not it is a palindrome. We go, we start with a left index and a right index, and we are narrowing it down the indexes until they pass each other, right? Until that left index is greater than the right index. And then we have to remember to include the zero to nine, which is just involving all the numbers from zero to nine. This is our regex formula, our cleaned string, which replaces everything that isn't in this chunk with a no space, an empty space, and then we lower case that, and then we return it. There you go, that is all for today. Um, leave in the comments if you have any advice on my explanation preferences would really appreciate that. Thanks guys.